Thank you. What you just saw is how many Vietnamese children crossed the river during the monsoon season in the rural area. With the loose of grips, a loss of pants, many of them drowned or suffocated to death. How do we know? Since September 2015, our foundation has funded the construction of three bridges and 10 schools in Vietnam. We did this when our high school buddies from this city said, hey, you can't even build, get the construction permit for $10,000 or $5,000, let alone building a school. We did this when our overseas friends said, let's get together at New Year and discuss about your school building concept. Well, for those friends who doubted us, who wait and see, we found new friends who embrace our concept of building 100 schools for Vietnam or globally by year 2025. But seriously, how did we do this? We create change from within and inspire the next generation of leaders, you, the college students, on, on three key aspects. One, believe in the power of number. Let me ask you, how many college students in Vietnam? Anybody know? 2.1 million and growing. So how can we leverage this number? Last September 18, 2016, we did a 5K walk in this city for the PR purpose of our foundation. And over 200 of you came from Foreign Trade University, Dong Thang University, this university, and many others. And the event was televised on the 3J TVs. We hope that we can see the clip. Sáng ngày 18 tháng 9 năm 2016 tại công viên gia đình quận Phú Nhuận, thành phố Hồ Chí Minh, sự kiện đi bộ cộng đồng hành trình xây ước mơ đã diễn ra với sự tham gia của 200 bạn sinh viên đến từ các trường đại học thuộc địa bàn thành phố Hồ Chí Minh. Đây là một sự kiện thuộc chương trình Build a School Foundation nhằm kêu gọi xây cầu và trường học cho trẻ em nghèo tại vùng sâu vùng xa, những nơi còn thiếu thốn về cơ sở vật chất trong việc giảng dạy. Also, we raised almost $1,000 from this 5K walk. Way exceeded our expectation. Why? Because for 200 people and almost $1,000, our goal is just try to collect a dollar from each of these participants. So if you extrapolate that to 2.1 million college students, each of them give us a dollar, we will have over $2 million a year to build hundreds of schools and bridges for Vietnam. Right? So number two, we like to unleash the compassionate nature in all of us. Let's see the raise of hand. How many of you have volunteered for events in school, at work, or at your community? Nice. High five your neighbor. That's exactly what I like to see. So how can we channel this positive energy to create, to support, and to create longer and sustainable projects in health, education, and safety for Vietnam. We take all of you to the countryside, to the rural area, so you see the reality of how other people live. So that's the point number two. Last September and December, we took, we organized all these field trips for selected leaders down to the Mekong River, up in the highland, Grong Bong, up down to the Delta, uh, Mekong Delta of Kamau again, and all the way back to Dien Bien. When we returned from this field trip, each of these leaders believed in our mission even more, and they pledged to raise at least $1,000 each to support our Build School Foundation, support um, all of these projects. How did they do that? They organized youth leadership class, 
they organize all the HR events, and some of them donate part, you know, a partial portion of their sales to our, our foundation so we can build more school. So that's number two. And here's number three. How many of you think that when you graduate from this college, you will work in the public sector? Okay. How about the private sector? Nonprofit organization? Or for charity? What about working for all of them? Because all of our volunteers work for all of these people. Why is that important? Because for each of our projects, we retain the flexibility to work with all of the local official AN support. For instance, for the project down in, in the Mekong Delta, we work with the head of the Kamau Province Buddhist Association. For the school that we built in the Highlands, we work with the youth club of Bumitur, right? And another bridge that we built down in Kamau, we work with a local charity, Hwaduk Foundation. And for the school that we built in Dien Bien, we work directly with the Office of Education and Development, and also with the editorial staff of the magazine Education and Society. Right? So it's very important because we want to make sure we teach you how, how to work with everybody so we can build your network. All right, so now you understand the power of number. You understand how to unleash your compassionate side and we will mentor you to work with everybody. What will be the next action that you can take to support our school? There are three things that you can do. First, try to create a partnership between college students and our foundation. The first thing is I would like to see everybody in this auditorium take out a dollar or 20,000 don'ts or whatever. If you don't have one, borrow from the friend next to you. If you can, write out your name and your phone number or your email on it and pass it on to the aisle. Why is this little exercise important? I want to prove to you the act of kindness begins with a simple task as giving away a dollar. It doesn't have to be five, it doesn't have to be 10, it doesn't have to be 50 or 100, even though I would be more than happy to take your $100. So that's number one. Number two, I would like each of the university to partner with us and sponsor one school. Now, let me show you why this thing is not difficult. How many people here from the University of Economics? Let's make some noise, let me hear you. Right? You know how many students you have on your campus? 51,000. 51,000 students and try to come up with $5,000. That's not a hard task to do. How many of you here from Foreign Trade University? Okay. How many students you have on your campus? About 13,000 students. And I can go on with all of this number. Tom De Thang University, you have about 23. University of Technology, 25. 25,000 students work together with us to come up with a $5,000 budget to sponsor a school. It's not the hard thing. If you know what to do, my officer here will show you how, and we will train you on that. So the action number three, this was really important. Not only we ask you to work with us, we will train you. We cannot work 2.1 million call a student directly, but we can work with at least five officers from each school, right? We need a president to work with local government. We need a VP of education to work with office of education. We need a project manager to work with construction company. We, work, uh, we need a treasurer to work with our fundraise activities officer and all of the donors. We have a lot of donors from Washington, D.C., Houston, Texas, San Diego, California. Sydney and all over Vietnam here. So we need your help. And last, we do need to have a secretary to make sure that you keep track of all of these uh, paperwork that we have to do. Because after, after all, besides building school and bridges, our longer term mission is actually to build people, you, right? So in closing, I would like to share with you a personal story. When I tried to escape, 
Vietnam long times ago in searching for higher education. I didn't finish teaching a little boys in the fishing village of Kamau how to read. So I vowed one day to return and build school for poor children. Decade passed. But the unfinished promise of yesteryears never stopped haunting me. So in 2007, I was invited back to work with the Vietnamese Academy of Science, Technology in Hanoi. So I restarted about the school building promise. And it took me eight years until September of 2015 to build my first school for 53 children in the northern border with China. Since I traveled to the central highland down to the Mekong River, witnessing so many other underserved children who risk their life for a chance to be educated. So as college students today and future leaders of tomorrow, I wish you understand the power within you and unleash that compassionate nature by exercising this simple promise. With these dollars, we can change the basic education of Vietnam forever. Thank you very much.